What's going on everybody? T Wiley here. And guess what guys? I've got advanced warfare. So most of you guys probably have it a time now. Um I got it on the third at about oh eleven AM it arrived. But then I had to install it and then play private match first. And right here, this is my first ever game of Advanced Warfare. As you can see, I'm only at level 1, so, you know, it kind of stands out that it is my first game. But, um, it, it, was, it was pretty awesome. Like, I was playing and I was just, like, so excited. Like, I was like, ah, oh, what's this game going to be like? And then I was just like, when I saw this map, I was like, oh. Because I have, I had never seen this map before. So this is Horizon, and I was just playing the standard TDM, and I was rocking the Bell 27. Now the Bell 27 is, it's quite, a, it's a good, it's like probably, it's a really good um gun. It's not the best, but it's most definitely not the worst. It's probably just over the middle, and um a lot of people use it because it's a good overall weapon. So. Just jumping in here, I'm thinking, here we go, game has started, and it's double XP, so, I don't know, I just like, it was so cool man, like, if you guys don't have this game yet, I really recommend getting it, because it is like nothing like Titanfall, like, you cannot even compare this game to like Titanfall, because it is absolutely not, and I got a kill, like, straight away, so I was pretty happy, I was like, yeah, first kill ever on Advanced Warfare, and right there I died, because <laughs> I was messing around, you know, I'm just like jumping everywhere, because like, who wouldn't, you know, you get all these freaking boost jumps and shit, like, fucking awesome, man, and, okay, so, right now, as of uploading this video, I am at level 35, so, I'm on level 35, and my favourite weapons so far would have to be the K5 as an SMG. Um, if you're playing on a small map, you got to rock that weapon, man. Like, use iron sights. Don't bother about using, like, red dot sight or any of that shit, because you don't need it. The iron sights on the K5 are really good, and I really like them. And there's pr practically no recoil to the weapon. It's quite high rate of fire, and it's got good damage in that. So, it's a really good weapon as of now for, um, like, as an SMG. Now, my favourite, um, AR would probably be the, um, IM, I think it's the IMR, yeah, it's like the IMR, which is a four-round burst assault rifle. But, there's a twist to it, it also prints your ammo. So, every time you're running around, you can... It will, like, every couple of seconds or so, like, every five seconds or something, it will print four new bullets, and that's one full burst. So, yeah, you pretty much, it's like, it prints every five seconds. So, ten seconds, you got eight bullets, and you got two bursts. So, it's, um, it's a really good, it's really good weapon, and it's got, like, it's got, like, 14 damage, which is really high. Like, 14 damage is, like, it's super high. So, this weapon... It's got like no recoil, um, it's super high rate of fire, and, oh well, not rate of fire, I mean like super high damage, but all you have to do is really have good accuracy and you'll just kill everyone. And probably a good finger as well, just for like tapping that burst, because that's how you get the job done. <laughs> um, I must say, um, the graphics on this game are like unbelievable. We went from Black Ops 2, it was, uh, the, the graphics on that were fine, you know, um, the colour, the colour, there was some good colour and all that in the game, and I really enjoyed that. Call of Duty Ghost, we came in, um, everything was practically just grey, I must say, in Call of Duty Ghost, it was just grey, man, like, oh man, it was so, so annoying, like, you know, we come in and then we're just running around on, on like, grey maps. Like, that was not fun. But on this, as you can see here, it's, there's like no greatness at all. It's just, like, there's heaps of colour, um, and it, the graphics on this game are just amazing. Like, as you can see, this is on the Xbox One, and 
her graphics are awesome and I just really really love it and the weapons are really good boost jumping like you know everyone was like oh is this even gonna be that good you know like we're going from our standard Call of Duty and then we're going into this that you just jump everywhere boost jump and all this exo moves and shit but far out I like I love this type of Call of Duty um I went and played this game in um, classic mode, which um, is just like, it's more of, there's no boost jumps or anything, you can still, you still have an exoskeleton suit on and you can still like punch people and everything, but you, um, you don't, you don't, um, oh, what's I'm saying, you, um, the maps are just not designed for it anyway, and it's just not as fun, you know, like, could you imagine just running around these maps just on foot without jumping everywhere? It's like, you go from that real funness of boost jumping everywhere, and when you get that taken away from you, it's it's just not fun. So, I don't know what Treyarch's going to do next year, because they probably, it's quite high that they're not going to add exoskeletons and all that in this game, because that's kind of Sledgehammer's thing now. Um, but the thing is, if they don't, then... It's just gonna, it's gonna make the game probably not as fun, because, I don't know, it's just, I actually, I really, really enjoy the EXO moves, and I can't just imagine now just running around on foot, just, I oh don't know, it's just, I just don't think it'd be as fun now, like, oh, but as I was saying, like, it's nothing compared to Titanfall at all, so, people that are saying, like, oh, it's Titanfall 2, it is not, definitely, definitely not. It's like, nothing, absolutely nothing the same, so I don't know, and Destiny, it's like 300% nothing like Destiny either, so don't know where people get that one from, but I don't know, it's normal, it's just the normal Call of Duty, um, uh, you, it's kind of like Black Ops 2, you've got to shoot quite a lot of bullets into someone to kill them, it's like, from what I've been going, it's like four to five bullets to kill someone. So we've gone from like two to three bullets in Call of Duty Ghosts to now like four to five bullets. So it's quite a quite a big difference, you know. So we've got to be good. And the thing I've noticed is don't boost jump everywhere all the time. Still try play it like a normal Call of Duty. But just have fun with it and you'll play well. Because I've played it where I've just jumped everywhere and I just die, die, die. Because I'm just jumping everywhere. Like... You know, you've got to be ready with your aim, um, aim down sights. You can turn on people. I've done that quite a lot, and it feels cool. You're just like, yeah, turned on you. So, yeah, really, it, this, over, this game overall so far is just awesome. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow or the next day, I will be uploading a video on how to level rank up fast and level up fast and that because I've been playing for a bit, and I've learned what one is easiest what game mode and everything is easiest to rank up so i'll share that all with you guys tomorrow so hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe it would really help me out i want to have a good year of advanced warfare and on youtube and i'll catch you guys on my next video